My name is Joshua O'Donnell. I was born in Oklahoma and I grew up most of my childhood in Boston and now I live in New Hampshire. Through circumstances I ended up here and I consider myself more of an urban type person. I really loved living in Boston, in the city, uh, but as things change and maybe as I've changed, uh, coming out to a much more rural, small town, I have to say that after a few years I really enjoy it. I enjoy the slower pace. So I think for my work it's probably a very good move to move up to Woodsville. When I st first studied drawing and painting, I started with charcoal drawing and oil painting, and I really haven't moved away from those two mediums. Those, those two are really my favorite things to work with, is charcoal drawing and oil painting. I've tried a little bit of watercolor, pastel, uh, I've done a very little bit of acrylic painting and some pencil drawing, uh, but I really do prefer the charcoal and the oil because I think those two are the most versatile. The charcoal, you can get very fine and very light lines down to very heavy dark lines. And the same with oil painting, it allows for the most uh, range, both in, in execution, you can go back and forth, you can change things, a lot of, um, uh, you can change your mind in oil and it still works. But the medium itself, can go can get effects that are very very dark and very very bright more than pastel or watercolor they just don't have the same range what I would like the audience to take away from my pictures or to feel when they look at my pictures is uh, maybe a simplicity to what they're seeing that no matter how detailed it is or, um, or how much stuff is going on or not going on in the picture, that, uh, that they still have this idea of simplicity in nature. Uh, and I think there's a number of painters have expressed it that you don't paint what you see, but you paint what you want the viewer to see. And I think that's a good thing to think about is when I look at a scene especially, it's very, very complicated. Nature has lots and lots of things going on. But in a painting, you just narrow it down to the essential things that are going on. And I really want people to look and see the simplicity of nature that maybe they would go and see nature that same way afterwards. When I get ideas for paintings, they come in all different ways. Sometimes. I get the idea of a subject, a particular subject that I would like to paint. And that's really the most difficult to put together into a painting because the subject in your mind uh, seems perfect, but you start pulling those elements together and you realize all the problems you have. Um, if, this, if your idea has to do with particular objects, maybe those objects don't actually look great together. Maybe the the sizes and shapes and colors don't go together. And so then there's a lot more work to be done to design this to, to somehow get your idea out in a composition that works. Uh, sometimes I get ideas just from seeing something. I'm just playing with objects in the studio or if it's a model and the model does something that you weren't anticipating, even in a portrait sometimes you spend three days setting up your portrait, but the model just does something much, much better, the, the portrait subject, and you think, oh, I didn't even think of this, and it's, it's so much better than I ever could have come up with, and you scrap everything you've done for the last three or four days and start again because it's, it, you're already starting at a higher level. Uh, and sometimes it's, it's an effect that you see in a landscape just a certain time of day you're driving by and you think, oh, that's it, that's the one I gotta paint. So sometimes they come to me, and that's, that's really better when that happens. I love painting because of the way that it makes me feel when I'm in a museum and I look at great paintings. And that's how I want to make other people feel. And that feeling can be, I think, a lot of different emotions, but sometimes we just see the greatness 
of being alive. Sometimes it's the great achievements of the past, and, and so we would like to uh, contribute to that or take part in that. Uh, and so that's, that's why I love painting. Uh, and I also love doing it as a profession because it's one of the few jobs where you have control beginning to end over every part of it. Uh, not very many jobs where you can be the, the, de the designer and the producer and direct the process beginning to end with all the materials. Uh, we, we say that certain buildings were built by architects, but that architect never put his hand in the dirt, never laid a single brick, but we say he built the building. But with painting, when you say the painter painted it, it means that they stretch the canvas themselves, probably. Some painters even sized and primed that canvas before they painted it. They designed it, they took the brush out and literally put every stroke on, they signed it at the end, framed it up, and the product, beginning to end, was done by the painter. And I think that's a very unique kind of job where you have such control over the entire product. A science fiction writer, Philip K. Dick, once said, reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. And I think that's true with dreams as well. Uh, sometimes it seems easier to just give up on my dreams, but when I do, they don't go away. And so in a way, it's suggesting that even the dreams have a reality of their own. And somehow that applies to painting and, and the painter's life, I think.